quick aside here, a cute little clip from Fox. It's a show called Red Eye. Uh, a bunch of, um, I mean, I run out of adjectives for these guys. I mean, I think they're absolutely ridiculous. But this one's not that important. It just shows you their goofy mindset. They're going to talk about Canada. You remember how during the Bush administration, uh, they took South Park literally, and they wanted to blame Canada for everything. Uh, mad cow disease, oh, that was Canada. A energy uh, blackout in the Northeast, oh, that was Canada. And they would all sing together, blame Canada. Well, apparently it's not over. Uh, they want to keep it going on Fox News. Let's watch this clip. Once their Afghan mission winds down sometime in 2011, certain members of the Canadian military are looking to take a much-deserved break. And by certain members, I mean all of them. Due to personnel and equipment shortages, Canada's Lieutenant General, Andrew Leslie, an unusual name for a man, Leslie. Well, yes, told the Senate uh -huh. Defense Committee <laughs> last week, quote, we will have to explore the possibility of taking a short operational break that is synchronized of at least one year. Meaning the Canadian military wants to take a breather, to do some yoga, paint landscapes, run on the beach in gorgeous white capri pants. Leslie added that there is no one to repair the tanks, nor are there any ready tanks for soldiers to train on. So a hiatus is needed to get their armored act together. Doug, I go to you first because this is a very important question. I want you to take it seriously. Isn't this the perfect time to invade this ridiculous country? They have no army. I didn't even know that they were in the war. I thought that's where you go if you don't want to fight. Exactly. Go, go chill in Canada. So exactly. I, I guess they'll have, that'll be their tourism, uh, you know, that'll be their selling point. We're not in the war for a year. Exactly. Come, on, come on by while we nap. Exactly. Exactly. It's amazing. I don't know any country that's done this, Bill. Would Canada be able to get away with this if they didn't share a border with the most powerful country in the universe? No, they probably wouldn't. And, I mean, does this surprise any of us? I mean... It surprises me. Well, you're stupid. No, um, no you need for that kind, sir. We have, we have police officers, and they have mounties. Mm -hmm. Our cops ride heavily armored cars. They ride horses. Mm -hmm. We have bulletproof vests. They have wonderful little red jackets that can be seen a mile away. Mm -hmm. This is not a smart culture, Greg. Really? Yes, but so they're getting manicures, they're getting pedicure. Everybody needs a little But is, isn't, isn't yeah. Canada doing, Monica, what? What most of Europe does anyway, which is just rely on USA. In of case course, bad. they couldn't take a year off from their military if they didn't have the, the security backdrop of the mm -hmm. United States. Good. But the other thing you should be worried about, Greg, is Canada starts this, lose our other border, Mexico. They're going to start relying on our army, too. Remember, it's not Canada. It's Mexico that likes the siestas. It's happening. <laughs> Mexico siestas, Canada. They wear red jackets. That's clever. That guy has a name, Leslie. What kind of name is that for a man? <sighs> Who's amused by this stuff? All right, look, I, I don't know why I'm going to take this seriously, but I'm going to take it seriously for a second, okay? I, I thought we weren't going to, we weren't supposed to denigrate the coalition of the willing, right? So like, were they even in the war? <laughs> right? Well, I, Bush told me that everybody in the coalition of the willing, the island nation of Tonga and et cetera, was, they were all absolutely critical. So I don't know why you're getting on their case for it. And But the thing that drove me crazy was when they got to, our cops are tough and their cops are wussies and they ride horses and we got tanks. Yeah, what well, you moron, their crime rate is far lower than ours. So how do you explain that, genius? So perhaps their crime prevention works a little bit better than ours. That perhaps riding around in tanks and tasing everybody you see, not shooting them outright, is not the right way to go. <laughs> yeah, but we're tough. They're named Leslie. <laughs> what are they doing? A CSO? <laughs> God, I can't stand these guys. And you know what? If you want to have a substantive discussion on the issue of Canada, the U.S. Uh, spending money uh, for the defense of Canada, that's a real discussion. And I, look, is it true that Canada doesn't have to spend as much uh, money on defense because we're basically protecting them? Absolutely. But then one has to wonder, why are we spending so much money on defense? I mean, we got $1.8 trillion deficit, it looks like now. And the place that we have the most amount of pork is in the defense spending. So, yeah, I, I'm with you. All right, let's tell Canada, you know what? Why don't you take a certain percentage of our defense budget off our hands? Okay? You want to do that? No, of course not. Because if you ask the red-eye crew on Fox News, they're like, 
Oh, no way, man! We have to build the biggest tanks! You know what they stand for! I, I got it, dude. I know. You're a tough guy and everything, and you need the biggest tanks. Then why don't you shut up about Canada, okay? I mean, you can't have it both ways, right? All right. I, I needless to get annoyed at these jackasses.